Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Dirt Rally on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for PS Martian. I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to purchase any of the parts featured in this build and support the channel, there are Amazon affiliate links down in the description too. So Dirt Rally, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip to any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So first one I'm showing you here is 1080p on the ultra preset without advanced blending on the left you can see without msaa and on the right you can see msaa 2x that's the highest i could go without dropping below 60 frames per second two times msaa if you want to use four times msaa you can do so just fine but it will drop below 60 frames per second in some occasions then after that i'll test 1080p using the maximum settings which is the ultra preset with advanced blending enabled that made me go below 60 frames per second quite a lot so i recommend turning that off or just using a lower resolution like 900p but even there you can drop below 60 so advanced blending is a very demanding setting then at 1440p i'm targeting 60 frames per second the only thing i did is crank up the settings to ultra without advanced blending or advanced amine occlusion and with that it was pretty easy to hit 60 frames per second pretty much all the time so 1440p 60s is possible on 4k i just used the ultra preset for the 30 frames per second target it dropped a little below 30 but it wasn't all the time it was on very rare occasions and then from 60 frames per second i lowered the settings quite a bit but the game still looked great so you can get 60 frames per second on each resolution i'm testing here so in the options menu the first thing that you should lower to get higher frame rates is advanced blending that's the most demanding option that you can find in the options menu so far even if you build the ultra preset it won't be enabled that controls the transparencies of the textures so it will be better between when textures that are transparent go over one another in places that have a lot of textures with transparencies trees or foliage all that kind of stuff it will be a big hit to the frame rate but the game will look much better if you pay attention to those details then the other things that you should lower if you're having performance issues are shadows i mean occlusion and advanced I mean, occlusion, night lighting, mirrors, trees, shader detail, and smoke shadows. Those are the ones that tank the performance for me the most, so I recommend turning them off if you're having performance issues or trying to get to higher resolutions, like I did at 4K on the GTX 1050 Ti video. But so far, this game has many options and seems to be pretty well optimized so far. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.